Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, we're not just focused on your 6.7 liter Cummins engine. No, we're focused on your 68 RFE transmission. Terrible transmission, right? No, sir. Terrible transmission if you are not educated of knowing how to take care of your transmission. If you overheat it, it will break on you 100%. It can't handle the heat. Let's take me back 15 years ago. We jump in a 6.0 power stroke, at 150 rear wheel horsepower, burn the tires off. We come into gear, boom, there's no more gear. Why? Because we just did a smoky burnout and just burnt every damn clutch out in the transmission. Same way with this truck. It's got a second gen swap. It's got some big fuel. What are we gonna do? We're gonna bump up the line pressure. Pressure equals heat. So anytime we bump up that pressure, you're gonna add heat. What's a product that you can put onto your truck that we manufacture in-house that will drastically reduce the temperatures, prolong the life of your transmission, super easy to put on. If you're a fan of the YouTube channel, you already know what I'm talking about, the thermal bypass. A couple weeks ago, I showed you guys how to install that on your 13 to 18 Dodge Ram. Miss a video, check it out here. Today, we're focused on the fifth gen Dodge Cummins with the 68 RFE. The thermal bypass, what's it do? Better yet, what is your factory unit that's located on the side of the transmission? What's that do for your transmission? What does this? When hot trans fluid comes out, it hits a little block and it goes right back into your transmission. That's right, it's got a thermostat inside of it. If this thermostat were to stick and stay closed, it would take transmission fluid, route it out, and route it right back to it. This is all it would do. Hot fluid would just keep coming right back to it. Your factory transmission temperatures will just keep going up, up, and up. Guess what? Eventually, it's going to fail on you. Our thermal bypass simply does this. Hot transmission fluid that comes out of your transmission fluid keeps going through our block, running up here to the trans cooler, gets cooled down, and runs back to the transmission. Your temperatures stay low and in check. Now guys, you need a couple tools, which we're about to go over. If you haven't purchased one of our thermal bypasses, hop on pointblankperformance.com. Thank you for purchasing. You need about 20 minutes on your hands, and you can get this product installed. Now let's open up our box and check out the contents. All right, you'll notice there's no contents inside here besides the thermal bypass itself. Let's get this dude unwrapped here. Y'all just bear with me, it's Christmas. Just bear with me. All right. As you can see, our thermal bypass shows up just by itself. There's no clips, there's no O-rings. The O-rings are located on your factory hard lines and we will point them out for you guys because they have to go back on. If not, yes, it will leak. What tools do I need to perform this job? Well, I've got an open end wrench. I've got a 13 to 16 open end wrench. I've got a 13 millimeter socket and I've got a 10 millimeter socket. Now the one thing I'm missing, you're gonna need a bucket, a pan, or something to catch a transmission fluid, because when you pull these lines, transmission fluid is gonna go everywhere. Now guys, I've got everything I need to do this install. Do you have everything you need? If so, let's get it installed. So we got our transmission fluid draining. We're ready to install our thermal bypass. But before we do that, we need to locate four O-rings on our factory hard lines, so that way we don't have a leak. Let's get it installed. We've located our factory hard lines. We wanna make for sure that there's two O-rings here. One O-ring on this hard line and another O-ring on this hard line. They are green in color. If you've got those two, check on the front side. Make for sure that you've got a washer here and a washer here with an O-ring on it. Those are factory. We want to keep those on there. If not, we're gonna have a leak. So guys, we're gonna show you how to put our thermal bypass on. You can see it straight holds through. So let me show you the tricks to getting this installed. Make for sure guys, the logo goes towards you, towards the outside of the vehicle. The first hard lines we wanna put in are the front ones at the front of the transmission being here. So let's go ahead, stick those in there. Once they're installed in, that's the front. I wanna go ahead, see this 10 millimeter bolt here? I wanna go ahead and lock that down. So this is a point in time, you grab your 10 millimeter socket, Lock that dude down. 
We've got two more lines we've got to attach to our thermal bypass. You can see they just don't quite line up. This one right here. So what do we need to do to get that installed and make it easy on us? Right above our bypass, there's a bracket. It's held together with a 13 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna grab my 13 millimeter socket. I'm gonna undo this bolt and these lines will line right up. So now that we've got our bolts out of our bracket, we're gonna let this thermal bypass just relax down. Now, we can adjust everything how we need to. We're gonna grab the thermal bypass, we're gonna seat the front hard line inside of it, we're gonna tighten up those threads, then we're gonna get the bottom one in it. Once you get your position correct, you may have to move it a little bit, move it forward, move it back. Now you can thread those lines into it. So you just push, make for sure that the O-rings are inside there. And it should move just this freely, left and right, up and down, just like that. Now I'm going to grab my opening wrench and I'm going to tighten them a little bit more and we're going to set that bracket. So now I'm going to pick up my 1318 opening wrench and I'm just going to get these hard lines snug. So you don't have to get crazy with them. Support the thermal bypass and just start cranking down on them. You ain't got to get crazy. See here. Flip it around. Get it tight. Once we get these tight, then I'm going to show you guys how to set the bracket. So. Get the threads ran up. Right now, I see two threads hanging out of the thermal bypass. Two, no more than three. Get them tight. Do not try to break the lines off. Just get them tight. Okay, so they're tight. Now we need to set this bracket. I'm gonna show you what to do from here to finish the install. So now we've got to set our bracket. Then we can go back in and tighten up the 10 millimeter bolt on the front and the two hard lines on the back. You can see I do not have this 10 millimeter all the way tight. The bracket will actually turn with me. So I'm really close. All I'm simply gonna do is just barely tweak the bracket so I can put my 13 millimeter bolt. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm just gonna give it a little turn. That's it. You don't have to be super strong to do it. Grab your bolt, simply put it in there, line it up with the threads. That simple. Now we're ready to grab the 13 millimeter socket tighten that dude up and then we're going to move down here to the 10 millimeter socket. We've got our 13 millimeter bolt locked down up top. Follow the brace down. You've got your 10 millimeter bolt on the front side that still needs to be torqued. So grab your socket and ratchet. Put that dude on on. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Go ahead and tighten it down. Once it gets tight Grab your thermal bypass, do not rip it off the truck, and go ahead and torque it down. Doesn't have to be super tight. Once it's torqued down, we've still got the two hard lines here on the back side to torque down, and we're finished. So now we're gonna grab our adjustable opening wrench and we're gonna tighten these two up. So remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So go ahead, tighten them up. Don't try to break them off. There's two threads sticking out. Once you feel it cinch up, meaning once you feel that it will not tighten up anymore, give it a tug and be done with it. Support the thermal bypass. Now for the top line. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm gonna pull down on it. I'm supporting the thermal bypass. Once it's tight, you feel it bind, stop. Two threads are hanging out, two threads are hanging out. That's done. So we've just installed our thermal bypass. We're not just ready to take it out. We lost some transmission fluid. How much, how many quarts, and more specifically, what type of trans fluid do we put back in this? ATF plus four. Pull out your dipstick, look at the end of it, and see what type. Do you need to add a quart or two? That's where I need you to gauge that. Before you take off in this truck, I need someone on the outside watching what you just installed, because it's very important. If you leak transmission fluid, you could burn up your transmission. So ask your mom, dad, whomever, hey, can you watch this product that I just installed? If you see red transmission fluid coming out, wave your hands in there, say shut her down, shut it down. Guys, if you do not see any red transmission fluid, and it's been about 20 minutes, take it out for a spin. When you bring it back to the house, the shop or whatever, check the transmission fluid one more time, make for sure it's at the level it should, 
and this job is installed completely. Guys, if there's anything that I left out today, make for sure, drop it below. Say, hey, I need some help on this, or better yet, you can always call the shop. Give us a ring, we'll help you through your install. We're gonna be back with this fifth gen Cummins. It's got a second gen swap on there and a few other mods. Make for sure you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you back here next week at Point Blank Performance.